Let me tell you what suffering does. Suffering is a crucible that brings out the truth. And none of us want it. What are you today? What am I? If we're not vulnerable, if we're not honest, if we're not true about who we are, and it is what it is, if we try to be something we're not, we're going to be the Simon Peter that said to Jesus when Jesus said, you'll, you'll deny me three times before the rooster, the rooster crows once. He said, not me, Jesus. You're talking to Peter. You want me? Dial it up, 1-800-P-E-T-E-R. I'll be right there. You can count on me. You can count on me when all forsake you, and that includes every believer in this room and every believer in history and every believer up to the present time. Though all forsake you, he said, yet will not I. And at the jibe of a servant girl and the crowing of a rooster, pretty low on the food chain, isn't it? He cursed Jesus to his face. See, discovering we're not what we think we are, discovering we're not what we wish we are, can be very, very disappointing. It breaks you. The Bible says Peter, when he realized what he had said, looked over and there was Jesus standing right there. Jesus heard every word of it. Broke him so badly he went over and sat down on the porch. And the Bible says he wept bitter tears, tears dripping through his fingers as he placed his face in his hands, discovering he wasn't the man he thought he was. Let me tell you what suffering does. Suffering is a crucible that brings out the truth. And none of us want it. But I never forgot the lesson I learned through suffering. You see, Suffering is not God's idea. We brought that on ourselves. But he uses it. Listen to me. He uses it to teach you. Jesus learned obedience through the things he suffered. Thank you. Thank you. What sin did Jesus commit that he suffered for? None. But he suffered. Suffering is not the product of God judging us. It's the product of human existence. We were born in pain. If you don't believe it, why were you coming down that birth canal screaming? And when you were born, why was your mama screaming? And when your dad got through getting his ears twisted off by your mother, why was he screaming? It's your fault. <laughs> See, we start out in pain, but that's not God's fault. We brought it on ourselves. Well, it was Eve's fault. Eve's fault? Well, she was tempted of the devil. Adam walked into it with both eyes wide open. They sinned was apple in the tree. Apple in the tree was the pear on the ground. Oh, come on now. Now, I want you to please, please listen to what I'm about to tell you. Suffering is probably the greatest gift we'll ever have because a pain in the conscience tells us we're doing something wrong. A pain in the chest tells us we're having a heart attack. Suffering is something I don't I don't advocate to go looking for when suffering's out there looking for us. But when it comes, don't blame God. Learn from it. Grow from it. And be able to be an example to those around you that when things go, quote, wrong, you're not having a bad day. You're having a learning experience. Embrace this life with the suffering and the joy all mixed together. Good days, difficult days, but never a bad day.